In this video, we're going to do two questions related to surjective functions and counting. So for the first question, we want to show that f from r to r, where f of x is equal to x cubed, is surjective. So what this means is we're going to set y equals to x cubed, and we want to show that each x has a unique y, or sorry, all y's are going to be able to be produced from values of x. So what we can do is we can take the cubed root of both sides. So the cubed root of y is equal to x. And here's this question, is the cubed root of y in the real numbers? And uh, yes, it is. So we need to make sure that this is going to be in our reals. And what this says is that we can put in as many values of y that we want, and we can always get an x back. So this function is surjective. And that was a very, very quick proof. Um, the fun thing about this is that it's also bijective because we can take um, f of y equals f of x and we can prove that x is equal to y. So we're good there as well. So this is a bijective function, which means it also has an inverse. And this is going to be its inverse where the cubed root of y or the cubed root of f of x is equal to x. So very basic question, uh, but this is one you normally see on midterms, and they're normally not much harder than this, so that should be good. The next question is a little bit more abstract, and this is a counting question. So if I have the size of a is equal to 4, and I have the size of b is equal to 6, and I ask you, how many functions from a to b are there? So let's, let's think about our function requirements again. So... We have four elements here, one, two, three, and four, and we have six on the right side here in our codomain. And what's the requirement for a function? Well, it says that everything in our domain must map to something in our codomain. So let's think about this. Our first element has six options it can map to. Our second element also has six options it can map to. Our third one has six options it can map to, and our fourth one has six options it can map to. Therefore, our result is going to be six to the four. So we can also think of this as the cardinality of B raised to the cardinality of A. And this is a general result. So what this says is that we have the cardinality of b number of options for each element in a and we have the cardinality of a number of elements we have to do this for so that's how you solve the number of functions so here's the question how many are injective well this is pretty similar to what we just did well all four of our things have to map to something so what we do here is we take our four elements and we have to map to four of these in the codomain and there's six total so it's six choose four that we have to map to but we also have four factorial ways that we can arrange our mappings so first we order the four and then we choose four that these map to so our end result is going to be four factorial times six choose four and this is the same thing as 6 factorial over 2 factorial. So um, if I do this more clearly, uh, if I expand the 6 choose 4, we're going to get 6 factorial over 2 factorial, 4 factorial. Then we multiply it by 4 factorial. The 4 factorials cancel, and we're left with 6 factorial over 2 factorial. Okay, so how many of these are surjective? What does surjective mean? That means that the codomain is equal to the range. Well, we can't do that because we can only map to four things. So therefore, our codomain is never going to equal the range, so we have a total of zero. So those were some practice problems. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the best that I can.